written in our books. There are about uh, 10,000 pages. And uh, the most important point of this message is this to teach the earth people to the right way back to the creation and the creation laws to live with them and for them. In the movies they usually portray extraterrestrials as monsters or dangerous or using their ships to you know, harm us. Uh, do you think we should... Is there any fear from That's the police? Foolish. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, maybe you can tell us something about the creational laws. You talk about creation, but um, what what is the laws of creation? What do you mean by that? Uh, the creation laws, the mostly of them you can find out in the free nature. If you are looking at the animals, the plants, the flowers, the trees, the whole life who is going on in the free nature. There you can find out the laws of the creation. What is the truth? How it is working? How is going on everything on the right, free and lawful way? And, that and all the laws you can find out through meditation, through initiation, through your feeling and through your own thinking. And if you get uh, a clear hearing, clear feeling, what you need in the meditation too, clear seeing and everything like this. Good question. Yeah. Does that mean that every spirit that comes in, into this planet um, does not have accidents that they come in physically prepared? Um, each spirit form who goes into a body of a human being, if comes a woman pregnant, uh, is completely by good health the spirit themselves, or the spirit form, how you like to say, uh, is not able to come ill, to come sick. That's not possible. And the body of the, of the baby, of each life form, has the right to be absolutely uninsured on body and spirit and mind and everything when it comes to this world or each other world in the space out. What's life like on with the Pleiadians? What are their lifestyles? Do they use money? Do they have cars? No, they don't use money. They have uh, other system. They work two hours a day, and uh, they have uh, a check card. And uh, if they was working these two hours a day, everywhere they want, they don't have a, a special place where a place where they have to stay and to work. They can go around the world, everywhere to work where they want. And uh, this check card will be checked by, uh, by a, a robot, by a machine, and then they can get everything they use and they like for, okay. for uh, living, for life, for luxus. Do they have a big city, like here or not? They have uh, big cities, not on the same size like our cities. There are uh, separated, uh, what you call, 
the house in the city, the houses in the city or the buildings in the city, they are like a square. And the room, uh, the space inside is free uh, for uh, plants and trees and flowers or for uh, siesta and all this it's each building the same for uh, for uh, what shall I say for this kind of life what they are having there and uh, in each building there is just one family by maximal five persons the parents and three children and not more I think also uh, do they have marriage like we do? They have marriage but how they do the marriage I don't know <laughs> I haven't any idea. I only know there are the spirit leaders or the yeah spirit leaders uh, who put together or bring together men and wife. And normally a man has between one and four wives something else as we have here on earth. Is it possible for the women to also have many husbands? No. They have one husband. A civilized planet. <laughs> <laughs> At last somebody got it right. That's right. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> the other buildings, the other houses they have, they are outside of cities and they are separated in uh, squares by 100 to 100 meters and there inside is always one house only for one family do they live longer than we do yeah they have around about 1000 years is that because of medical advances or science the whole there? evolution And to the old Lurians and the old Vegans, they had a very high lifetime. <coughs> Billy, what is the game moot and how do we learn to work with it? What is? The game moot. The moot. Uh, <coughs> the game moot. Das game moot. <laughs> That's. Um, the spiritual part I have to say it another way the Gemüt is the spiritual part of that what we have in the material part the psyche so it's the counterpart to the <coughs> to the psyche on the material side of the mind. Yeah, I think it's like a, a sensor or something you said that connects us to creation. Uh, you see, the the gemüt is in the spiritual part, the same thing what we have as psyche in the material part in the in in the physical body and the community